Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Late last night there was a magnitude 7.5 earthquake off the coast of Russia um, and a brief tsunami warning was uh, sent out. Japan didn't send a tsunami warning to its people because they felt that any tidal wave um, would have been relatively, you know, insignificant. 27 people reported feeling this earthquake. This movement is caused by the North American plate. And I've talked about this area, how the North American plate extends down to the northern area of Japan. Using Google Earth uh, Wikipedia, here we can see the plate. Um, they consider this OSC. Here we have the North American plate. And I'm going to show you what Wikipedia sh says. The Oshk Plate is a minor tectonic plate covering the Sea of Oshk. And it goes on to say it was formerly considered part of the North American Plate. But recent studies indicate that it this is an independent plate bounded by the north of the North American Plate. The boundary is a left lateral moving transform fault. It says the boundaries between the Oshk Plate and the Amerian plate may be responsible for strong earthquakes that occurred in the Sea of Japan. So that's supposed to be new research, but everything else that might be disputed between the scientists. Yeah, see how the North American plate here um, originally goes down to um, the area of the Philippine Sea. Let me pull this down for you. And the northern part of Japan. Here's an abstract paper from 1996. Um, it talks about the North American plate and um, this other plate. You know, and I've talked about geology, um, specifically earthquakes and plate tectonic movements. How geology is actually probably at least 50 years behind compared to other sciences. You know, we've heard about how um, the technology that we're using right now um, They've actually had it for over 50 years and what they're just now releasing for us to use. So that's another good example. I've talked about this area too where they have volcanoes and the recent activity that's been going on there. Yeah, and I'm sure this is going to create pressure. Um, more things are going to happen. And I've talked about how there's been an increase in earthquakes, etc. Looks like we got a magnitude 4.5 that happened not too long ago. I'm going to show you Yellowstone because it did affect Yellowstone. There's the signature as it came in. I'll pull it across. You know, we got the initial P wave and then the S wave, which would be this one right here. And looks like we got another one right there. And I'll come ahead again. Um, another two hours. Yeah, um, I'm going to pull this down. Notice Grant Village which is on the uh, western side of Yellowstone Lake. How it really shook up the caldera. And we'll come ahead a little bit more. There we go. And we'll come ahead again. And again. And this is what it's currently showing. There we go. I'll pull this over for you. So if you have any thoughts or comments or questions, put it down below. Uh, please stay safe. Always be prepared for an earthquake. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.